everybody welcome back to another video so today's video i'm talking a little bit about why it is so important if you have a 120 volt air conditioning system on your van conversion that you also go ahead and install a soft start of some sort before you head out on the road and really try to use the air conditioner all right so there's a lot of different factors that go into choosing an air conditioner for your van or small RV. So in my case, I've been using these Houghton units. They're sold by Rec Pro here in the United States. But they are fairly energy efficient while running. And most importantly, they're very quiet. The compressor is very well insulated and it sits on these rubber shocks that allow it to not transfer noise into the vehicle chassis. But I'm not really here to talk about the brand of air conditioner I use because there's a bunch of different ones that you can use. I'm here to talk about why you really need some sort of soft start. And it doesn't have to be this brand. I just choose to use these because they have a good warranty and they come with pretty much the wiring instructions for every unit I've seen. So there's a lot of factors that go into your build. How many batteries you have, how much amp hours of available power especially the size of the inverter are you running your air conditioner off of battery through an inverter so i'll give you my experience so with a our first build we ran a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter that had a 6000 watt surge capacity with 300 amp hours of lithium iron phosphate battery started off with no soft start with this 9500 btu air conditioner now this thing pulls way under the rating of my batteries, my uh, inverter while it's running. But when anything with a large compressor has what's called a large inrush current when it first kicks on the compressor. So what would happen is when it first kicked off the compressor, you would hear my inverter beep because it was pulling over 2000 watts just temporarily. And that itself got to be pretty annoying. So just hearing that beep every now, every time the compressor kicked on. Now, what made it even more problematic is, let's say you're somewhere where you have access to maybe generator power or an electric cord, extension cord, you're staying at a friend's house and they've got like a, you know, an outlet you can plug into with your extension cord. This is where this really comes in handy because you can only run you know, so long on battery power with an air conditioner, so it's not really practical for battery usage for most of us. But we do a lot of camping at campgrounds, we stay in families' driveways. So this becomes even more important because when you're plugged into shore power, the quality of the electric that you're plugged into or what you don't know what else is on that breaker you could be plugged into the same line that they have a refrigerator plugged into in their house so maybe you're only on a 15 amp circuit so every time your air conditioner starts it has the potential to blow that circuit this just really reduces the power requirement when it first kicks on it does not make it use less electricity when it's running only when it has that inrush of when the compressor kicks on. Basically, what a soft start does is it has a large capacitor that stores power and it kind of acts as a 120 volt battery to start the compressor, but it also gets it started and ramps it up slower than just letting the compressor go full go. Basically, that just keeps it from having that huge inrush of current. Okay, so just to show you real quick, if you look at the air conditioner, you get, they usually have some kind of label like this on it. So what we're looking at right here is, so if we look at rated input power, so it's 1370 watts or 12.6 amps, and that's while it's running. So it's pulling 12.6 amps. So think about that. If you have it, let's say on a 20 amp circuit, you're using quite a bit of that power just to run. Now it may run a little bit less than that, but here's what we want to look at this LRA compressor unit. This is our inrush current. It says 56 amps. 
So it's trying to use 56 amps to start this unit right here. Now, the circuit breakers in your house, they are designed to take a short current spike like this, as long as it's very short, even on a 20 amp circuit. So they are designed to take that. But if you have other appliances running on there where your breaker is already heating up and you, you shock it with the 56 amp request from this thing for a second, it's going to blow that circuit. That's why, same thing, even if you're running it off the battery power in your camper, you know, the max we're talking about in a van is around 30 amps. When you're plugged into shore power, you're blasting it with almost double the rating. This right here cuts that down to under the 20 amps. In fact, you don't really see an inrush at all when you're using a stop start, and that is the whole point. All right, so if you wanna see how I installed this unit, in this case, it's a stop start RV. Micro Air makes another good one. Um, I would probably avoid the cheap $100 ones you see on Amazon. You do get what you pay for. And these come with a nice warranty. So either this one or the one from Micro Air, um, there's a couple others out there that are decent. That's what I would stick with. Uh, again, if you want to see me install this on this unit, I have another video that I posted previously doing the exact same combination. There'll be a link in the description below. But I just want to talk about why it's important to use a soft start when you're traveling in a van, whether you have AC power available to you, whether it's via a small generator or an extension cord that you can plug in somewhere. This will make your life a lot simpler, it's worth the money, and it's way easier to install before you get the air conditioner put on the roof. All right, as always, thank you for watching. Again, this is just a quick informational video. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. Be sure to like the video, subscribe for more content. Till next time, we'll see you later.